I'm very fascinated with what you've done already, you've accomplished. I've watched all your videos, I've watched all your corporate videos, uh, extremely well done. You are a cheerleader par excellence, but I'm not here to cheerlead you. Um, I'm here to try and sort of spend some time focusing on some issues. So let's jump right in. Um, you have created a tool, another digital tool for a teacher to use, among many tools that they've got, dozens of them in fact. I don't understand how it could be easily integrated into a environment of multiple tools that teachers are now being asked to use. How do you handle that? Yeah, it's a great point. I think uh, the big distinction between us and the, uh, the many other tools you reference, which I, I do, do indeed agree with, is that our, our tool is a digital solution replacing something teachers are already doing rather than introducing something new and sort of convince or compel them to use it. Um, so are they in, taking longer periods of time to use your tool than they did previously? Uh, no. So uh, that, that's kind of the beauty of it is we're sort of cost competitive from the teacher's point of view in terms of the amount of time they have to spend. Time competitive, class. not cost competitive, time competitive. Well, time cost competitive. Uh, and, and on top of that, they get all these other benefits in terms of uh, access to data, being able to share information between them and other teachers uh, who they team teach with. And, and those are the folks we're really isn't, trying to Isn't the tool really to manage bad behaviors? Primarily, well, the reason that they uh, have tools like this is to manage bad behaviors, correct bad behaviors? Uh, I, I would agree that where behavior is sort of a challenge, that, that's where you're going to use a tool like this. However, there's, there's two schools of thought, right? One is uh, to be more punitive, and the other is to be more reinforcing of any good and positive behaviors you see that align with your expectations. Uh, personally, I'm a you're big really fan just of... Trying to say, yeah, you're really just trying to say that, but the reality is the tool is for bad behavior modification. Um, yeah, the tool is used in, in settings where behavior is an issue. However, there's two ways people do that. And so, you know, if you go into some of our schools, you'll see sort of a focus on, hey, that's not acceptable. You need to correct that behavior. On others, you'll go in and see you know, uh, a teacher teaching what they want the student to do, the student does it, and there's a lot of positive reinforcement and encouragement. But because you concentrate on only bad behaviors, aren't there behaviors, a culture also about test taking, how well they take tests? Yeah, sure. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't say we concentrate on bad behaviors, right? So, so behavior... You said that a couple of times already. No, no, I, I didn't. I, I thought I was trying to be very clear on that point. So behavior is are, are just external actions that we as people take, right? So a behavior is raising my hand. A behavior is asking a creative question. A behavior is helping a peer pick up their books when they've dropped them in the hallway. Behaviors can be good or bad, and our system uh, helps teachers reinforce the behaviors they want to see. So, uh, you know, the focus on bad behavior, yes. Folks who have a lot of bad wait, behavior... Wait, 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 wait. It reinforces behaviors they want to see that help students better learn. Shouldn't that sure. be the final, final words? Yeah, sure, in, indeed, indeed. Uh, you would hope, right? You so haven't said that whatsoever. You, you've not brought up better learning as a, as a result, as a qualitative scenario that is the end result of what you do. Yeah, it's a, it's a fair point. I mean, we take it somewhat for granted in our marketing since all we talk to is educators. Just that a indeed, fair point. The role of schools is to teach students and it's just a fair point. Interesting. Very interesting. There's no sense of community here at all. Well, I, I, I think that's a bit, bit of a jump to a conclusion, seeing as you've, you've never been in a classroom uh, using our, our product. Um, you know, creating a common language and a common sense of, of goals uh, is core to creating a positive culture in a classroom, a community, as you call it. So, Setting up um, discipline in a military doesn't necessarily relate, as it seems that you're doing. Uh, well, to first of learning. all, that's not what we're doing. Second of all, I'd argue that the sense of discipline in the military creates a huge sense of community. So I would argue that point. Uh, but but that's not indeed what, what we're doing, right? What we're doing is providing a tool for educators uh, to track and reinforce the behaviors they think will, as you rightly point out, contribute to great learning, right? So I, I Well, I've sure enjoyed I... talking to you. You're a very, very, very impressive young man. Thank you ever so much for the opportunity of of, uh, of talking to you. You're quite an extraordinary young man. Thank you, Brian.